What's blessings. happening? What's happening? Peace and blessings. Peace Thank and blessings. Goodness. Appreciate this energy. Appreciate it. How you doing? <laughs> How's everything going? First of all, first and foremost, it's great. Everything's great. I'm chilling. Good, good. Yeah. Looking, your energy looking good. Uh, that's, that's what it is. That's what's about. <laughs> Thank you, I, thank you. How was Vegas? Great. It was great. It was, it was wonderful. Had a lot of a lot of sex. <laughs> Say that. There we go. Exactly. Enjoy it. You got to live life. For real. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate this. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. I'm so excited. And and you, we, we definitely big fans. We're going to get into Bags and Bodies, but that's like where we really, really got introduced. And it's like, star, you, you, like I said, star powers. It, it's all about being real, though. Like, People keep being genuine with yourself is the key to everything, really. Literally. It's right. all you got to do is be yourself. That's a fact. All day. Fact. All right, so with that said, let's get into it. Like, let's, we want to know who the real Eon. Eon. Who's Eon? Eon? That's right. Who's <laughs> Eon? Like, what is the story? Where does is, what is the story of Eon begin? Like, where, do, where is the, like, and, and let me make, make make that clear. Like, you know, born and raised and all that stuff. But, you know, like, at, when we start, when we little kids, like, from, from a newborn to five, really, we just kind of going with the flow of everything. But there's somewhere, five, six, seven, eight, even sometimes for some people, something hit is like, all right, nah, I know what I'm about. I know this is the beginning of who I'm becoming. When did that, like, that's the real, we want to start like there, really. Oh, um, I'm, damn, that's a great question. Usually people just ask me when I started battle rap. Um, <laughs> Much respect. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, Appreciate I believe that, actually. when I was uh, 16, um... I was 16, I probably had, like, at that point, I probably had lost, like, five close friends, but uh, mm. my best friend had that, like, my, we was, like, best friends, uh, she had that, and it wasn't, like, it was the first time I had a friend who died from, not, like, she died from a brain aneurysm, it wasn't, mm. like, somebody killed her, mm. like, mm. and that was a shock for me, because I was 15, 16, finna be 16, and it was, like, you know, it was, it, was, it was just out there. It was, like, out of the way. So it was, like, um, I think that that was, like, the first time I was, like, struggling with shit, um, struggling with expressing myself. And then I got into poetry. And um, getting into poetry is, like, it's like rapping almost. Uh, and I always was a big Tupac fan. Like, Tupac, oh, my favorite facts. rapper. I was into poetry. I just never did it, for real. So um, I started writing poetry. Um uh, one day I performed it one time and then everybody was liking it. Like people was liking it. Then I got into like this high school competition where I was doing poetry. So that's really what like made you know, like poetry for real. Like uh, mm -hmm. that's when I knew that's what I wanted to do. Like I, um, it was people in my community who was like, who was big poets and they was like changing the community for real. Like they was having um, workshops, uh, and I shut down the whole block, uh, and it was just peaceful. It was always peaceful. So I knew that was something I wanted to do for Chicago. Like, if I could get motherfuckers together to, to do something that's, you know, it's not lame for real, mm, but it's right. motherfuckers, you ain't got to overdo it. You ain't got to be tough to do it. Like, mm. I wanted to do that. So uh, that's what really made, yeah, like, poetry. I got yeah, that was I started <laughs> That's real right there. That's that's righteous. That's righteous. Appreciate that that, that answer as well too. Poetry. So like, what did you have any? <clears throat> was that uh, as as rappers too? We both we were you know raised in the same. We raised together since we were six to eight years old, and you know around that age. But it's like poetry. We at be, the first thing for us too was like poetry. But for us, I mean for me, I'll speak, I'll speak for me. Like I had a school competition. Or like it was like a um not a competition, but it was like a homework I think. And I never did a poem in my life. And that's what kind of like was my first thought. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, I can actually do this. I can make this rhyme, and it, and people like it, and I like it. <laughs> so, what type of what was like the first poem? Not the you not, I don't, you don't have to remember the first poem, but like, what was your type of energy with your poetry? Was it like? Crazy though, because I really do sort of remember my. Oh, that's fire! <laughs> that's crazy. Um, so uh, I, drugs was real big. Um. Uh, where I was, like, even in my family, like, drugs is real big, um, in my family, drug addiction, and at that time, I was 16, so I was, like, just now starting to research history, and mm. so it was that, at that time, it was, like, I was mad at the government, mad mm. that I was going to a gifted school with white teachers, white kids, mm. like, I was real angry, so 
that's what my poems is about, like the government and how they put the drugs down here. It was like, uh, it was, it was, uh, I was just an angry, I was angry in high school. So a lot of my poems had to do with like, uh, just black people being mistreated and mm, wow. uh, police brutality. Um, it was just things that I was that was so relevant at the time. Uh, Laquan McDonald said, uh, mm. I think when I was in high school, that was when he, um, the cop, the mm. officers had got acquitted. So uh, he was protesting. Uh, it was a lot. It was uh, it was a lot. But I was more. I was mostly angry at like the system. So that's mm. really what my poems is about. Uh, being wow. angry and I wasn't really like a poet like um the sky is blue like I was like uh I think they call it spoken word <laughs> yeah, yeah so uh but yeah that's that's really what I was I was real angry in high school uh, yeah that's that's right really angry so that's what you I could I, I could feel it and see it and I mean it, and from Chicago like like you got it's it's that's a legacy in its own like it's so much like I really honestly my first like I heard, you know, been hearing about Chicago mainly growing up. It was all about Chicago Bulls, to be honest. And then somebody put me on to like all of that, like the real, the, the truth about Larry Hoover, and I learned about Fred Hampton and what really like the that there's a whole that culture in Chicago is Chicago like really starts a lot of a lot of a lot of energy that people are running with, and and that the, that the respect doesn't really come back, but all of the blame for nonsense does come back. So. You wanna you you can't trendsetters are trendsetters, but it's like which trendsetters are we really paying attention to? Because there's some real giants there, like legends who is they beyond, it's beyond Chicago. But with that being said, like you, you, you I feel your your energy. I, now I'm interested. Like if do, if you can, like like I said, if you can, do you remember the actual poem for real? Like was, are you was you just saying that? Like we would love even if it's just like four bars. One plus one equals two. That's common sense to people, but too many common sense. Uh, but too many common people. That, no, but too many people is that for the common sense. Uh, so common sense. Mothers to institutions. Taraji to testify. Children born with addictions, but Nixon the one who created these enemy lines. I mean, mm. uh, but, mm. 